CUBN, this is Christians United Broadcasting Network. You can get in contact with us at CUBNlive.com. <laughs> All right, I'll be your host today. My name is Troy. All right, what's on the news today? All right, we got news from the Associated Press. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Real de Janeiro, Brazilian police said Thursday, that's Wimmer Ryan. Lo Chiti, oh, yes. said her name, and three U.S. teammates were not robbed after a night of partying, and the intoxicated athletes instead vandalized the gas station bathroom and were questioned by armed guards before they paid the paid for the damage and left. A robbery that was or wasn't has become the biggest spectacle outside of the Olympic venue in Rio, casting a shadow over American athletes aimed an otherwise remarkable run at the Summer Games. The ordeal was also a blow to Brazilians who for months endured scrutiny, scrutiny. <laughs> about whether the city could keep athletes and tourists safe given its long history of violence. No robbery was committed against these athletes. They were not victims of the crimes they claimed. Civil Police Chief Fernando Veloso said during a news conference the police account came in direct contrast to claims from Lochitis attorney early in the week the attorney Jeff Ostro had insist the swimmers had nothing to gain by making the story up he as well as the city's father and agent did not return phone calls seeking comment the swimmers could potentially face punishment probation suspension a fine or exploitation <laughs> under USA swimming's code of conduct it was not clear if the swimmers would face criminal charges. Though police said the athletes could be charged with destruction of property, falsely reporting a crime or both. Two of the swimmers, Gunnar Bentz and Jack Conger, checked into a flight out of Brazil late Thursday after a judge lifted the order seizing their passports and keeping them in the country. They had testified about the incident earlier in that day. And Brazilians chanting liar as they left the police building. They did not lie in their statements. They never lied to the journalists. They only stayed quiet. They did not know what was going on. Attorneys Sergio Raira said. The last women real Jimmy Freeman. Proved, did, did, provided an updated statement to police. U.S. Olympics officials said the they and U.S. U.S. Olympic officials said and hoped to get his passport back shortly to return home. The saga began when Lutsky claimed that he and his teammates were held at gunpoint and robbed several hours after the last Olympic swimming races and ended. But police then said they didn't have evidence to, subs to substantiate the story. Their passports were ordered seized so the investigation could continue. But Nochetti had already left the country. While some details in the official account of the story changed on Thursday, police first said no guns were involved. They said two guards pointed weapons at the swimmers. What the heck is a weapon? Is a weapon a gun? Security videos confirmed the athletes want vandal vandalized parts of the gas station, leading to an encounter with, sit with station employees. The closed circuit video shows one of the swimmers pulling a sign off of the wall and dropped it onto the ground. A gas station worker arrives and other workers inspect the damage. 
The law song said the swimmer's broken door, a soap dispenser, and a mirror. Man, they must have been drunk. The swimmers eventually talk with station workers as they, as their cab leaves. Or at least they caught a cab. As they talk to, as they talk, two of the swimmers briefly raised their hands and all four sat down on the curb. After a few minutes, the swimmers stand up and appear to exchange something. Perhaps cash. As police said with one of the men, the footage doesn't show a weapon. But a police officer speaking on conditions of anon anonymity, anonymity, an anonymity, anonymity, because the investigation was ongoing, said two guards pointed guns during the encounter. Veloso said the guards did not use excessive force and would have been justified in drawing their weapons because the athletes were conducting themselves in a violent manner. That's what happens when you get all wasted drunk and you can't handle your liquor. You get mentally inclined and you do stupid things in life. And you just cannot remember it the next day and you get confused. A station's employee called police. And the guards and the employees tried to get the swimmers and the taxi driver to stay until authorities arrived. Some even offering to help interpret between, interpret between English and Portuguese. That must have been complicated. The Lusso said, but he said the, athlete, the athletes wanted to leave. So paid 100 Brazilian reels, about, about $33. 100 Brazilian reels is $33. What? <laughs> and 20 in U.S. currency and left. Conger and Bentz told authorities that the story of the robbery had been fabricated, said the police off official who spoke to the AP about the guns. Now, come on. If you're totally wasted and drunk, you don't understand a thing of English on the Portuguese side, and you're coming out there, you don't know what's going on. You're all, all over the place. And you got people just busting guns out, telling you to go somewhere and sit down here and do this and do that, and you can't even understand how one word is up. Now, what word they said? Come on. You're going to get confused. You don't know what's going on. Unless they had badges and somehow they said they're a police officer. Who knows what those people were. You know, you don't, you don't know that if you're drunk. Don't drink. Police said the swimmers were unable to provide key details in earlier interviews. Saying they have been intoxicated. The police officials said officers grew suspicious. With security video showed the swimmers returning to the athletes' village wearing watches, <laughs> which would have likely been taken in a robbery. Who steals a watch in a robbery? Come on! I take too long to think the watch over your wrist. You need to just get the money and go. We got pulled over in a taxi, and these guys came out with a badge. A police badge. No lights. See? No lights. No nothing. Just a police badge. And they pulled us over. Choti told NBC's today, the morning after the incident, they pulled out the guns. They told the other swimmer to get down on the ground. They got down on the ground. I refused. I was like, we didn't do anything wrong. So I'm not getting down on the ground. I don't know you. I know. Oh, excuse me for one second. Phone's ringing. All right, we're back in the business. I'm not getting down on the ground. And then the guy pulled out his gun. He cocked it, put it to my forehead, and he said, get down. And I put my hands up. I was like, whatever. He took our money. He took my wallet. He left my cell phone. He left my credentials. The Chilti backed off some of those claims as the week went on, saying the taxi wasn't pulled over and that the athletes were robbed after stopping at the gas station. The Chilti also said a man pointed a gun toward him but not at his head. 
the swimmers did not call police. Authorities said the officers only began investigating after they saw news coverage with Lochetti's mother speaking about the incident. Lochetti also said the swimmers didn't initially tell uh, tell U.S. Olympic officials what happened because we are we were afraid we'd get in trouble. Come on now, while he's med meddled off what what while he's meddled often, Lochetti accomplishment accomplishments have long been overshadowed by teammate Michael Phillips, the most decorative Olympian in history. Lochetta, a 12-time medalist, won a gold in Rio in a, ra in a relay race alongside Phillips. The robbery de pickle de pickle prompted de pickle de basil what d e b a c l e de pickle prompted both wild speculations speculations <laughs> and social media mockery which quickly turned to scorn after the official account went public the chit gate trended on twitter with users sharing video footage and posting comments about white privilege and rude Americans, memes, mocking, and looks at lie, pro left, right, left, right, rated almost immediately. <laughs> David Fletcher, a political scientist as the University of Brasilia, said the incident touched a nerve in Brazil because of the country's history and cases of people committing crimes while impersonating police. The story did have some sense of val validity, but it didn't bear out and it made them look bad worldwide, he said. AP reporters Beth Harris, Chris Lohoris, Pauline Arojoa, and Renata, and Brito in Rio de Janeiro, and Steve Reed in Charlotte and North Car Car Carolina contributed to this report. Amen to them. Amen to them. This story was being corrected and reflect the that the law the lawyer of two of the swimmers is Sergio Royer and Sergio Viagas. Now come on people. When you drunk you don't know what you're doing. You you dizzy. You you just going over, you flipping over everything, you laughing, you crap, you tripping all over. I mean anything could have happened. Nobody really knows the true story of that, you know? I mean, you're, you're drunk, you're dizzy, you go outside, you go to the cab, you got people facing guns at you, you come out, there's no lights, no police officers saying, you know, like all in America, they, they're not used to, to that. So, you know, but it still does not give them the right to, to, to vandalize and do just some people cannot handle their liquor. I tell you what. All right. All right. That, that, that was a bad story about these swimmers, right? You know, they, if they lied, I, I don't get it. It's like. How can you remember something at, at a traumatic time while you're drunk? I mean, they seem to be all over the place, walking like they were drunk. I mean, it's, it's, you can't tell. I mean, only God knows. And only God can control what's going on in our life. And if it's God's will that they get screwed up in their life, then it's God's will. But amen to that. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. And let's pray for these people and pray for Brazil. And let's give them all of our joy and praise. In Jesus' name.